Hi, I'm Eileen, and today I'll be doing YLOG 4th grade lesson 10 worksheet. Don't forget to write your name and the date for today. So, let's read the directions. It says, write a fraction for the shaded part. And here we have the example. So if we count, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 which is why we have eight at the bottom, which is the total. And as you can see here, we have four shaded that are green, which is why we have four out of eight. So the de denominator, the bottom, is gonna be our total. And the numerator, which is the top, is gonna be the shaded part. How many shaded part? So number of shaded. I'll be going over number one, three, six, and eight. So on page one, we have one and six. Number one, let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. So our total is five, which is gonna be our bottom. And as you can see here, we have two shaded only. So two is gonna be our number shaded, which is our numerator. Number six, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six, which is going to be a denominator. And then here as well, we also have only two shaded. So two over six is our answer. Moving on to page two, we have three and eight here. Number three, let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight total. And we have only one not shaded, which is eight minus one, we get seven. So seven is shaded, so our answer is seven over eight. Number eight, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six is our total. And here, we only have two not shaded, so six minus two, we get four. So our answer for number eight is just gonna be four over six. Next, it says, find the sum, which is the answer. Our example, we have one fourth plus one fourth, and when we add it, we get two over four as our answer. So how they got this, is we don't add the denominator we just leave it as four and we only add the numerator one plus one which is how we got two i'll be going over number four and two and four number two we have two over nine plus two four over nine so let's just do two plus four which gives us six and like I said, we don't add the denominator, so 9, we're just going to leave it as. So our answer for number 2 is just going to be 6 over 9. Number 4, let's add the numerator first. 7 plus 2, which is 9. And 11 is our denominator, so we just have 11. So our answer is just 9 over 11. Moving on. It says, find the sum. And we're gonna be adding mixed numbers now. So I'm going to be going over number one, four, and six. Number one, we have one, one over two, plus seven, one over two. So how to make this into a fraction, as this is improper, would be, so we have one, one over two. What you have to do is first, you multiply one and two, and then you just add what you get after. So you add here and you multiply here. So let's multiply first. Two times one is two plus one is three. But we just keep the denominator as just two. Now let's do seven. Like I said, we are gonna multiply. 
we are multiplying these. So when we multiply those, we get 14. And when we add plus 1, we get 15 over 2. So let's add these together now. 15 plus 2 plus 3 over 2. 15 plus 3 is 18. And we're going to add the denominator, which is going to be just 2. But we could simplify this even more, as 2 can go into 18 9 times. So our answer for number 1 is going to be 9. Number 4, we have 10, 1 over 3, plus 2, 4 over 3. Let's do 10, 1 over 3 first. We're going to multiply first. 10 times 3 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So it's 31 over 3. For this one, it's 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 4 is 10, which is 10 over 3. So if we add these together, we get 41 over 3 which is our answer. Lastly, number six, we have one three over five plus two one over five. Let's do one three over five. Five times one is five, plus three is eight. So it's eight over five. Two one over five. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11 over 5. So we're going to do 8 plus 8 over 5 plus 11 over 5. And when we add this, we get 19 over 5, which is our answer for number 6. Moving on to the word problems, I'm going to be going over number 1. So it says, Sally's dog ate two out of six dog treats. What fraction of the dog treats was eaten and left? So we know that she, his, her dog ate two over six. So how much was eaten? In fraction, it's just going to be two over six. And how many is left? In order to find out how many is left, we just have to subtract 6 by 2. When we divide and we subtract 6 by 2, we get 4 over 6. So there's 4 over 6 dog treats left still. A, it asks us, if Sally decides to give her dog 3 more treats after the initial 6 treats, how many total treats does she have now? So let's first answer this. How many total treats would she have now if she gives her dog three more treats from this initial six. So initially we have six, but if she gives her dog three more, if we add this, we have nine. So we have nine total treats now. Nine treats. And it says, what fraction of the total treats does this dog still have after eating two out of the original six? So her dog, Eight two out of six, right? It says how many will we still have? So we have to look at the left. We have four out of six left right now. But Sally gave her dog three more treats. So all we're going to do is just add three to four. So for top and bottom, because she gave them three, they gave the dog three more treats. Four plus three is seven, and six plus three is nine. So the dog will have still seven treats if the dog still ate two out of six, and that's our answer. 